So this is going to be a video review of the very desk, standing desk, and there are a bunch of new models. Mine is a couple years old, and I think they've improved some things on them. So here is how fantastic this is. You go from sitting to standing. You just pull on these two levers. There's a lever on each side right here. And there you have it, from standing and working. There are a few issues that I think they've addressed, probably, in their newer models of this. The first issue is that the surface is quite slippery that your mouse resides on. And I didn't like that, and the mouse would sometimes get pulled off when I would raise the desk. I got a mouse pad, but if you look at it, it doesn't really fit onto the desk. When you drop this down, this leg here takes up some of the room. So in order to not have the mouse pad off the end, I had to cut it up here to make room for this right there. Well, I think they fixed that possibly in some of their other models. I see a curve here and a little extra room. So maybe they made the that bigger. The other issue with this is I actually broke the whole keyboard holder right off. Couldn't believe it, but my very first day of owning it, the very first hour of owning it, I should say this, this comes fully assembled. There's no assembly on your part. All you have to do is put your computer somewhere, put your monitors, mount your monitors on top of it, and run your keyboard wire somewhere and your mouse wire somewhere and you're golden. So what happened was I was working away at my desk and I got hot, so I took my sneakers off, and I was in my socks. I was not using this little pad here yet. I had to unpack that. And what happened was, I got, went, I left my desk, and then I came back. And when I came back, I hit this and slipped. And what I did is I, I hit the keyboard on the way down, and I put my arm out to grab it, and it ripped right off. And I can't really blame Veridesk for it, but, and they were super good about sending me a replacement, which I have not installed yet, but their product is, at least was, just particle board. Horrible. And these screws here are tiny. That's the screws. Very, very small screws. So not much is holding this very substantial bracket to the thing your keyboard rests on. They, they sent me a replacement unit, which I haven't installed yet, very quickly. But while I was waiting for it to come in, I got some metal plates, you can see right here, and just screwed the whole thing together using them. And this is much, much more secure. And the only bad thing it would be is if I did duplicated that, slip and fall and grab again, I would probably take both of these monitors down to the floor with me. Whereas when this broke off, that was actually a good thing because my monitors stayed put, didn't, nothing got broken, just the keyboard f fell off. The floor mat to me is, is good. I like actually standing with my heels off the end of it a little bit for, I don't know, stretching your Achilles or whatever. But it's quite overpriced, I think. A friend of mine bought a different type of desk like this, and when she um, uses it, there's a lot of shaking. This is quite sturdy, although because I didn't want my back to the windows, I like to mount this on the, the side desk. My side desk is less deep here, and this leg sticks off the end by maybe two inches. Also, I had to remove my bookshelf up there from here in order to have enough clearance above. Most of our cubicles have a bookshelf there and a bookshelf there, so I had to take that bookshelf off. But other than that, just a fantastic desk. I like it a lot. And I am 5'11", and it's just about the perfect height for me. My arms go down a little bit, my eyes are looking down a little bit, 
I don't know if somebody six one or two or three would be that happy with this, but I'm pretty happy with it. So my three complaints with this would be, this is too slippery a surface, this is too small a surface, and the third is, this tray is too flimsy. This tray should not be made out of particle board. In case you're wondering, on our cubicles, these cabinets are held in by little hooks that are very easy to remove. They pop right off like this. Let's see if I can show you the end of that. So there's just four little things. So you just lift up and they come right out of those holes that they're held in by.